Hi, John Dial here again with uh, another CPD video for you. Just start off with a quick question. Do you or your learners have PowerPoint presentations that you'd like to share with others? I'm sure that you're all aware of excellent sites like Hello Slide, Google Docs, Dropbox, and the list goes on and on. But are you wondering if there is a way to convert PowerPoint to video for free? Why? Well, if you could, you would then be able to share the video with the world. You could use YouTube, Vimeo and many others that are available. Before making the video, there are a number of steps to work through. Step one, you have to convert the slides into images. In the top navigation bar, you just click the file menu tab. The menu opens below the tab. In the menu, all you have to do is to click save as. The save as box will open and in the save as type, the drop down menu, select JPEG file interchange format. It is important to remember the location where you're saving your images to avoid searching for them in the later steps. And then having done that, click Save. A selection box will open and what you need to do is to select the option Every Slide. That's it. Now all of your slides have been converted to JPEG image format. If you didn't note where they've been saved, this final pop-up will remind you. Note, I must tell you before you try it, if you have an animated PowerPoint, only the slides will be converted. The animation won't be converted to image format. In other words, you won't be able to convert an animated slide using this method. Animated PowerPoints can be converted into a movie, but you use on-screen on activity recording tools such as Camtasia, Cam Studio, Captivate, BB Flashback, uh, Jing, uh, and so on. Among these, Cam Studio, Jing, and BB Flashback are free tools, and each of them have got their own pros and cons. Step two, there are lots of options for this step. My choice is Audacity, whichever tool you use, you just record the narration for the presentation. Save the recording as either a .wav or a .mp3 file. Uh, and as before, make a note of where the file is saved. Before creating the video clip, you need to work out how long each slide has to be visible, and that's to match the voiceover that you've recorded. I just make up a simple Excel spreadsheet with simple formulas, and all I do is to add enter in the end time in seconds for each slide as I play it back, and the duration then is calculated for me. As many of you will know, Windows Movie Maker is a tool that comes with Windows. The earlier versions of Windows Movie Maker had got uh, many advanced options which made life for most new users very difficult. All of those have been simplified in the Windows 2007 and newer versions of Movie Maker. So don't feel as though this is going to be a barrier. Just open Windows Movie Maker from the start in Windows. On the left hand side, you'll see the preview player, which we'll use near the end. And on the right hand side, just a plain box. In the top navigation menu, you'll see a number of options. The ones that you're going to need for your movie are Add Music. We're actually going to add the narration, but that's the button. Um, and um, the title and credits, both of which are self-explanatory. 
Sometimes you, it's not necessary to add either. Uh, and in this example, I'm not going to use those. In Movie Maker, go to the right hand side box, the plain box we mentioned earlier, and click on the actual box. In the next box, browse and go to the folder where you had saved your images. And you select all of the images by just clicking on one and doing control A or just use the mouse and hold down the shift button and select them all. And once you've selected them all, click open. All of your slides will then be imported to Windows Movie Maker in the order that you want them. In Movie Maker, then go to the top navigation menu and select the Add Music. If the drop down opens, click on Add Music again. Browse and go to the location where you've saved your narration and select it and click Open. Your narration will be added to the slides. Click on the Edit tab and by clicking on each slide in turn, after the duration side, uh, alter the duration times that you calculated earlier. So in this particular case, the default when I open it is 7 seconds. I just highlight the 7 seconds and change it to 21 seconds. As I say, I find the quickest way is to highlight the time and then type in the required time. Here is the completed view of the slides with their correct timings. Use the preview player once you've completed all of the slides to check that the audio and slide changes are synchronized and make any changes that are necessary. If you would then like to share your movie on the web, go to File, Publish Movie Menu. Select one of the video sharing sites such as YouTube, Flickr, etc. in the sub-menu. I've selected YouTube here, um, but you'll need to have or to create an account before you can share on any of those sites. Continuing with the YouTube example, select the required resolution for your movie. There will be a recommended one. Now it's time to wait as Movie Maker works through the three steps to create the video and upload it into your account. When the three steps are complete, the first Publish on YouTube dialog box appears. Complete the fields and sign into your account. Once signed in, another dialog box appears where you add the data that YouTube will be using. And when all of the fields are complete, click Publish. You'll be notified when your video is ready to view. The clip that I produced for this CPD resource can be reviewed on my YouTube using the link shown at the top of this image. Or you can visit my YouTube channel as shown at the bottom of this page. And that's where you'll find the link to this video. And finally, yes, there are other options. You can also save the movie to your computer. Go to File, Save Movie menu. In the sub-menu, Common Settings, select the option for computer. You can also select other options and see their output. Just note your video in this case will be saved as a Windows Media file. That's all. I uh, hope you find it useful. Let me know, know how you got on and or perhaps give me some links to videos that you have produced. That's all.